Good day, spellers. We're at another Friday already. My, it's been a quick week. We are on our 25th spelling lesson today. It is the 23rd of October, so 10, 23, 20. Our first word today, written beautifully, comfortably close to the red margin, is the word declare. I declare that this week was a quick week. Declare. Declare. Scholars, pause and analyze. Declare. All right, let's check your analysis. I'll give you a little hint, and it's okay if you did not get this. There are two rules when we get to that part. Declare is a two-syllable word, D, finger space, Claire. So scholars, this is D first syllable, but a bump. Did you catch the name sound of the F E, right? Declare, D, Claire. And then here we have A. Saying its name sound. So did you catch that we have a vowel consonant silent E? Declare. Declare. So we have the VCE rule. That villainous E, right? Who will declare that he's going to take over the world. Declare. And that eh, E at the very first syllable, in D first syllable, is saying its names out. A, E, O, and U. Usually say A, E, O, and U at the end of a, a syllable. D, Claire. Now, scholars, our next word has declare as its root word. So you'll see we're adding a suffix, an ending to declare. And there's going to be a rule there that might be a little tricky. So just try your best and know that when we go over the analysis, we'll probably be adding that on together. And that is okay. Our next word is declared. Mr. Long declared that this would be a tricky word. Declared. Pause and analyze declared. All right, let's check how you did. The first syllable is the same as declare. Right? So we have the first syllable right here. Then scholars, declared is also just a two syllable word. We have cle d declared. We still have that a, a saying its name sound, but it might be a little trickier to see why. It is still the VCE rule, but we dropped the E to add the ed, d, t, past tense ending. So we do still have the A, E, O, U rule in D first syllable. A, E, O, and U. Usually say A, E, O, and U at the end of a syllable. And then here we have the a, 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 saying its name sound. It might look like there'd be a rule for Y, but we can't really write down the VCE rule because the other rule is we dropped the E. So it's a drop the E rule. That might be a new one for you. We dropped the E to add the ed, d, t, past tense ending, that suffix. And you might think, Mr. Long, there's an E right there. But that's the E of ed, d, t. So we dropped the E of declare and then added the suffix to the root word declare. And you might have noticed, right, it's not declare ed, declared second sound of ed, d, t, declared, declare. There was a lot going on in there. You'll remember, I declared that that would be a tricky word, and it's okay. If you have to do any fixing, that's okay. 
Remember when you learn from things right, that you didn't know and you fix things that maybe you missed or got wrong, that's called a growth mindset. That's learning taking place, scholars. Our next word is distant. Distant. Pause for a moment. Analyze distant. All right, let's check how you did. Quick warning. If you thought D jokes up here weren't so good, there's another bad one coming up in a moment. Scholars, distant is a two-syllable word. Dis tent. T -t distant. Dis is the first syllable. But a bum ch. And tent is the second syllable. Dis tent. No rules in distant. Scholars, our last word connects to the word distant. It sounds like we're just adding an S to it to make distance, but the word is actually distance. Distance. So notice it's not a T with an S on the end, distance. Right? Like this, distant, right? They traveled to a distant land. It was a great distance away. Distance. Pause for a moment and analyze distance. Let's see how you did on distance. This is still the first syllable. This, finger space, t, a, n, s. Let's stop at that s for a moment. Scholars, that s is the second sound of k, s, distance. Oh, but we do not have to travel a great distance to see that we don't yet have the dictionary spelling of distance. We need a silent final E. Which E? Did you already try it? Let's see if yours matches mine. It is CG rule three. A C before an E says CG rule three. It's that magician going poof making the C say its second sound of distance, distance. Then scholars, our bonus word today, another continent, we're nearing the end of our seven continents to practice spelling. Today's is Asia. Remember, it starts with an uppercase A because Asia is a proper noun, naming a specific noun, a specific continent. So it's a specific place. Proper nouns name specific places, people, things, or ideas. Asia. Now, scholars, if you would like to, in that bottom section today, right, enrichment, if you would like to let your creativity kind of shine, you could think of... Hmm, you could today... Think of something that's a great distance away. Maybe for you, somewhere that's a great distance away that you would like to travel. Or maybe it's not you. Maybe it's another animal. Maybe it's a, an earthworm. Right? What would be a great distance away for an earthworm? So do something here related to distance. If you're stuck for some ideas and want to, you can look at my sample on the post. Remember, you are always welcome to send a picture of your notebook work to your teacher, letting your teacher know what you did for enrichment. The assignment itself is to go to the spelling Google form, answer those five questions about today's spelling words, and remember to click submit at the bottom of the form. This ends the spelling for this week. So scholars, have a great weekend, and I will see you next week for spelling again. Enjoy the weekend. Bye-bye.